This is Twit. Let me briefly describe how my weekends go. <laughs> um, on Saturday and Sunday, I will sit down in front of my computer in the morning, see what's going on, and I... I have a rough goal to write one thing if I can. If there's more going on, I'll write more. But I like to write. I like to at least bang out one article. One thing a day. And then, day. yeah, just so I can, you know, feel okay about the day. <laughs> so <laughs> on one of those days, I think it was Saturday. I guess it doesn't matter which day it was. But um, Microsoft had posted a support document listing the technologies that they were going to deprecate and remove in the fall creators update for Windows 10. Hmm. And there is nothing dramatic in this list. Um, but the three deprecated features, I think, are the most interesting three. Um, system image backup, which was a feature of Windows Backup, uh, which is still available if you really look for it. Um, it, it in, hasn't changed since Windows 7. Shouldn't use it uh, anymore. It's not a modern thing. We don't need it today. Oh, but, I've been you know, using it. Yeah, so I was going to say, well, okay. So the way I was just going to say it, it was, you know, there are certain uh, old school people who like to, you know, still. Well, should I go out and buy a third party? Uh, no, 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 no. So the way Microsoft has at least Someone modernized this part of Windows. lying around somewhere. No, but you, geez, <laughs> no. I'd rather have you use Linux yet. than use Ghost. No, um, you don't really need it anymore, right? It's. Um, they have recovery tools in Windows that can restore it to the way that the PC maker presented it in the beginning. Yeah. They can restore it to the way that Microsoft envisioned it without any of the PC maker stuff built into it. You can sync all of your documents and your important files and your settings to the cloud. You can get back up and running with a clean version of Windows better and more efficiently not using system image backup than you can using this technology. Well, so um, they're deprecating that. Yeah. Anyway, what that means is uh, it's still there. But they're not updating it anymore. And in the future, they'll probably get rid of it. But they, they're not promising when they'll do that. But just so you know, it, someday in the future. Um, sync your settings was deprecated. That's very interesting. I just, just I just talked about that feature. That's a big part of Windows 10. Mm -hmm. um, it's the current sync your settings technology that's deprecated. The way this has worked so far is that the consumer version of the product, of the feature, I guess, is not the same as what they use in the enterprise, which is called enterprise uh, state roaming. It used to be... Back in the day, this started as part of MDOP, if I'm not mistaken. They brought it into Windows proper. Now they're going to use that as the basis for all um, setting sync between cons for consumers and for business users. So that will change in the future. But functionally, it will continue, obviously. They're not going to get rid of the feature. They're getting rid of how it, you know the technology. But then the third one was one that's dear, near and dear to my heart, Microsoft Paint. Uh, as I often say, I use Microsoft Paint every single day. It's so near and dear to Mary Jo's heart, she was thinking of moving <laughs> to Linux. No, yeah. well, that, so I just will, got scared for Notepad. She hears that and Notepad's she thinks Notepad's next. next, and that's not a bad thought. I mean, do we honestly, still have Minesweeper? Work, is uh, Minesweeper <laughs> still there? Yeah, Minesweeper is still there. <laughs> Although, remember, solitaire. that was modernized yeah, um, years, yeah, ago. Yeah. Yeah. years ago. Years <laughs> ago. <laughs> well, well, I think it missed the time, for, if I'm not mistaken. But whenever, at some point, it was modernized. Um, anyway, uh, they've been talking about doing this for a long time. In fact, remember, they tried to do this, I think, in the anniversary update, or maybe the creators update, one of those two releases, where if you tried to run Paint in the Windows Insider Preview, you would get 3D Paint, not Microsoft Paint. Right. Um, and they, there was one build where you, I don't think you could even get to Paint, or they made it very hard. So many people complained they put Paint back. Both of the Paints are in there now, and whatever. And so but there it is. It's in the list, and so people are freaking out. And... I'll let Mary Jo describe the controversy. I think I've talked for about two hours there, but no. I, that's no. The I think of, that's I think you're right. Yeah. yeah, it was frustrating because you would see all the headlines going by. Like it was on Fox News, it was on the BBC, yeah. it was like on ABC, it was everywhere. And you, uh, the headline was "Paint is dead." Yeah. Um, and it's like, but no, it's not. <laughs> So that that was tough because then you're out there spending your whole day saying to people, it's actually not dead. See the see Microsoft's word deprecated. See they even define what yeah, is deprecated. You know, use a dictionary <laughs> and find out what this word means. I, I yeah, spent but, so I like. But I, they I even said it. I, well, <laughs> it's, I, like, I, it's look okay. to me. This is plain English, but I I, I thought so yeah. little of this. I, I, and of course, I don't write clickbait headlines, so. No. Um, well, you know, I didn't write a headline start. in bold move. Microsoft <laughs> kills, my, you know, Microsoft Paint in front no, of its family no. or whatever. Like, yeah. I don't understand the headlines. Right. Um, so on Monday, I started getting email from people and they were hitting me up on Twitter. Did you see this? And it's like the story right. in, in Fox News or CNN or the yeah. um, the Guardian, the BBC, whatever. It was everywhere. I know. Dedham Times wrote a story about it probably. <laughs> you know, Microsoft is killing paint. And it's like, guys, I wrote about this on Saturday. But, of course, they didn't see it right. because my article, yeah. because common sense logic, 
Microsoft is deprecating and removing legacy features in the Fall Creators Update. How exciting am I? I didn't think to, you know, so promote what, it like a like a major life event. What does it What does it mean? Deprecate. It means they're no longer updating it okay. or adding new features to it. But it doesn't mean it's not. And it's, it's just kind of sitting be, there like a vestigial tail in a whale or something like that. And it's not going to be in, right. installed anymore, right? You have to download it. For no, no, it's installed. It is going to be installed. It's in there. Yeah. It's in. It's in the Fall Creators Update. It's always oh, been there. Okay. Um, yeah. Now they reserve the right at some point in the future to get rid of it. It's the beginning you know? of the end, yeah. not the end. Right. Just the well, beginning it's, it's, of the end. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. Windows Media Center was stuck around for right. eight years before yeah. they finally killed right. it. It could be there for a while. Look, one yeah. of the things that Microsoft doesn't do, because they're always looking at the, you know, splashy new features, is kind of take stock of Windows as it is now right. and address some of the foundational yeah. issues that it has. Mm -hmm. How about the file system? How about File Explorer? How about, right. you know, the how about the bugs that are in there that have been in there forever, like the copy and paste bug that makes me insane every day? You know, yeah. um, the the notion that they would take the time or effort to get rid of paint and not fix things that are really wrong with Windows is kind of crazy to me. I mean, I, I think there's a conversation to be had that Microsoft needs to kind of finish the job on Windows 10, if you will, m and modernize parts of the OS that need to be modernized and stop worrying about flashy new features that few people are going to use. Like paint. Um, well, <laughs> but but part of that is, is there a common sense way to take the things that have been Windows for a long time and bring them forward? And so actually, in, in my story about this very event, if I could ever bring it up, um, mm -hmm. I had written that I had I have this idea in the back of my head about how Microsoft might want to, um, you know, kind of preserve the past, but do it in a way that's safe and reliable and so forth. And I was going to write about this in a future editorial. So, of course... What Microsoft does is they come out after every, the whole world freaks out. <laughs> they come out with a post where, like, yeah, we're not killing paint. Just kidding. Sorry about that. Um, mm -hmm. In the future, if we do get rid of it, maybe we'll put it in the store. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, okay, that was actually one of my ideas. That <laughs> it, you, if you think about all the legacy stuff that's in Windows from an end-user application standpoint, one of the smart approaches you could do would be to take those things, put them in a UWB container, and just put them in the store. Yeah. Right. They, they're they're right. safe. They're in a container. Um, they don't ever have to be updated again. They could just sit there. If you want them, you can have them. Is that was actually an idea I had. Paint is Win32, I would presume. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's really, I mean, they should get rid of all Win32 stuff. That's exactly right. And yeah. by the way, I wrote that editorial. And that's exactly what I said. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. But the frustrating, again, the frustrating part of this was when Microsoft did come out and say, oh, wow, you guys, you didn't understand our meaning. It was like, wait, you didn't say this, though. You you never said that you were going to keep it around. You just said deprecated. And they acted like people had misinterpreted what they said, but they never did say they were going to put paint in the store until Monday right. or Tuesday yeah, yeah. after so this happened, not, right? That word does not mean what, I th what you think it means. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. As I often yeah. say to anything that is not ironic, <laughs> I'll start the sentence off with ironically. Comma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Ironic, don't you think? Yeah. Uh, I don't okay, know. So I just, no I was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> it did kind of Tempest make sense because they have this off. Paint 3D that... Aren't, yeah. well, aren't that, most of the features of Paint in Paint 3D? No, they are not. They're not. No. And, that, and that's the problem. You know, that's one of the problems. Forgive me. Because Look, there you are know, alternatives to Paint, like Paint.net, that are fantastic. Yeah. Um, right. but, but, you know, it's like the no problem, pet, right? It is. It's, and the it's, problem it's here, again, and works. right. And sometimes you I mean, just want true? the simple thing, right? Yeah. And you don't need, you don't need yeah. something with this huge new UI where you can do all these 3D things. Right. And it's like, I just want to, like, put, crop a screenshot and paint, you know? Right. I do this every day. I use it every day. It's wonderful for certain things. It is yeah. wonderful. It's the most efficient way to do certain things. It's not yeah. just that I'm familiar with it because I literally spend a lot of time searching for replacements for the things that I use every day because I want the way I do things to be the most efficient way possible. I've looked at paint.net many times. Um, mm -hmm. I've looked at, I've used the GIMP and tried to see if that could do it or even little like tools like Snagit or uh, if yeah. could the snippet tool, you know, uh, provide some of these, uh, you know, the functions? I, I just have never found anything that works the same way. It's mm -hmm. why I get stuck on certain things. You know, I use um, Markdown Pad, which is, hasn't been supported in years. Um, it's still the best Markdown editor. It's really tough for me. I, it took me a long yeah. time to get off of um, Metro Twit. Remember? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Because I, 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 I don't just want to go do something different. I want it to be so, 
This is As interesting because I really thought it was more nostalgia, like, oh, our old windows is going away. No, 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 no. no, no. It, but it, people use it. Yes.